Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Engineer's Guide. Let us talk about the foam system. As you can see, this is a typical foam system to suppress fire in diesel tank areas, generator rooms, and so forth. And this is actually the deluge system. This is the inlet of the water supply, and when the supply of water is being supplied, it comes directly to the deluge system. So you could see they are upstream pressure gauge and the downstream pressure gauge like that. So, uh, and this is actually HD fire protection deluge valve. And this deluge valve helps and aid in holding the pressure and releasing the pressure whenever it is required, when pressure is being lost from the upstream like that. So then you could see this that you see here is the manual post station and it's being controlled also with a solenoid valve which is connected to a fire suppression panel. This is the line. Now from here it goes directly. The water is being supplied to the outer part of the foam tank which this is the one that squeezes. The pressure that will just be sent here will be the one that will squeeze the foam out of the system through this foam line so the so part of the water also will just flow through this part will flow through this part that is the foam this is actually the air foam proportional mixer so as it has been pressure has been exerted in here the foam will just pass through this this valve this check valve through to the mixing and proportional meter so the water will just be passing downwards through here then it will just pass through this pipe to this test line now this test line is normally closed but during testing time you would have to open and this is actually normally open but during testing time you have to close so then you don't wet or you don't put water in the system so this is actually the level indicator so you can also collect your samples from this side and this is actually also another part for the foam in case you want to release it all right and when you look at this this is also the same thing this is the foam see so you can see it's connected but there is this valve this is for the drain of the tank so then the water that will be put to pressurize the tank can be removed from here if it's not being removed you cannot tell the quantity of foam that will be in the tank because it can deceive you because there will be pressure in there of which it can just help it um, make the level higher you might think that there is more uh, foam inside but it, it might deceive you so then when you are working on that you need to make sure and even when you are filling the tank you need to make sure that valve is opened and this is typical testing of it now when we are testing as this water will just be coming from the test line and during times of which it will be said samples will be collected and after the samples has been collected it will be compared to the pre-mixed one then after you could just get the average of the foam that will be tested and the average that you're gonna get is what you're going to compare to the premix and it has to fall within the range of 3% and 4% like that so this is how we just do the testing of the foam I, we have a video that we tested actually the foam and I will leave the link to that so you could just check also as well. It is really important. So then you know how water ladders with soap. This is mostly the principle like that to know how the water and the foam would ladder and the, without any contamination, the pH and everything is just being checked like that. All right. So then before you we start, we take the samples of water from the tank itself then after we will take the foam to just do the pre mix then later on after it's being done we will just do the actual testing that you saw this actual testing then after the actual testing will just be compared pre-mixed 
samples then after then you can just figure it out whether it will be passed or not now to notify or to know whether it's passed or not it will just be until in checking whether it falls within the 3% and the 4% premix that you did so when it falls between that you can attribute your work to pass all right so thanks for watching we have a video on this and i will link the link i will put the link there so then you can just follow you can just search through our videos there will be form system test and also as well that so you could just find what we are talking about thanks for watching please like and subscribe to our channel for us to just grow and please press on the notification button so that anytime that we will just hit a video online you could just be the first to just go, uh, interact with us and do well to share your comments your views and whatever thing that you have you can just share with us and we will be here to just help you out thanks for watching thank you everyone thank you